Welcome to this episode of the Million Dollar Mastermind. I'm Larry Wydell, and before we get started, if you want to know exactly how to win again and again, go to wydellonwinning.com forward slash webinar now to watch something I've put together for you. Now let's get going into this episode of Million Dollar Mastermind. I'm back talking. Having, I'm having a having a ball talking with Jane Westman. It's just been too long, Jane, since we've had a chance to talk. <laughs> it has been a long time. I'm so glad you were catching up today. Yes, we are. And you know, uh, I'm excited about so many of the things that you're doing. You know, you're like one of these thought. You know, you're an industry leader without uh, really trying to be that. Just by your normal outreach and doing what you do, but let's talk about this. How did your, uh, what did you learn from doing your book? And at what stage in your career did you say, I'm going to get my own book? And how, how did that work out? You know, Dive Right In, The Sharks Won't Bite in 1995 was one of your first, well, I guess you've done other books, but that was your first, it says one of your first books uh, focused on helping women entrepreneurs. And so talk about what that experience was like. Yeah. So um, I researched that book in 1994 and it was published in 1995. And that was um, before we had all of the technology that, that we have now. Right, yeah. um, and I, I, I did learn a lot and it's helped me. I, I learned a lot about being an author that has helped helps me help other authors. So, for example, I learned that the title of the book and the subtitle was too long and therefore very hard to say in an interview because the title is Dive Right In, The Sharks Won't Bite, The Entrepreneurial Woman's Guide to Success. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So one thing I, th I help a lot of authors now come up with titles for their books and we try to make them three words if we can, you know, yeah. one, two, three words that, that helps a lot. Um, I also learned a lot about being interviewed, just like you and I are doing right here, because yeah. in those days I traveled all over the United States and I was interviewed on television and radio shows in cities throughout the United States to publicize the book. And I, I learned a lot about being prepared for the interviews, having message points, having specific topics that uh, we I wanted to talk about. I right. learned how to deflect questions that perhaps I didn't know the answer to. So, um, and I learned how nervous somebody could be to be interviewed. Right. And that's really helped me a lot when I help my clients prepare for their interviews because uh, I understand where they're coming from. And yeah. so I try to give advice about how to how to start the interview and be really prepared coming right out of the gate of of, of how to be dynamic and how to how to try to how to stick to your points and your and your your messaging. So um I also learned a lot about entrepreneurship because I had to research the book. So I've got plenty of advice, um, particularly for women entrepreneurs, although a lot of, uh, obviously my advice would be good for anybody who wants to uh, sure. start or, or, yeah. or build a business. But a lot of the things that I wrote about, that I researched and wrote about in 1994 and 1995, those problems still exist today. Really? Or the advice that I gave in those days is still valid today. Yeah. And so uh, have you written other books? Have you? No, other, I, other? I, I have not written any yeah. other books, but I do. I write a lot of articles and I have a YouTube channel and I talk on my YouTube channel both about book marketing and uh, now I've been talking a lot about entrepreneurship. And, and the thing is, Jane, uh, let's let people know uh, about that youtube uh well before we get to the youtube channel uh in terms of writing a book and the things you learn from doing that the thing i found is that it was easy for me to write in the sense i was writing stuff that i had talked about for 40 years and so it was it's just a matter of getting it down but even then it helped crystallize and simplify and solidify and helped me 
simplify what my I was saying and find, you know, where you had 40 analogies for to make a point, you got the best one, two or three. <laughs> and uh, it, it forced you again, forced you to be disciplined, you know, in your conversation. And so uh, uh, would you how would you describe for people who are thinking about writing their own book and they're at a business of their own? And when's the right time to write the book? The right time to write the book is is any any time that you're an expert in in your in your field or any time that you see a problem what what i advise people to do is uh it, whether you're you're a consultant or you're running let's say you're running a tech company even that helps people hire employees so when you see a problem that your clients are having and you have solutions for that problem, that's the time to write a business book that will help grow your business and build your brand. So it's about solving problems um, based on your own business experiences. That's if you're writing a business book, of course, or even if, let's say you're a chef and you want to write a cookbook, it would be the same thing. If you're a psychologist and you, and you, you know, you help people be better parents, parent, uh, you can write a parenting book. Um, if you're into fiction and you're driven to write a novel, you know, go for it. But, but my focus at this point is helping people, um, write and market their business books often as part of an overall marketing campaign for their companies. Yeah. And uh, in many ways, it can act like a calling card, you know, you help establish who you are and what you can do for other people. Uh, there is a certain power of being able to have that and hand that to people. People appreciate getting a book. It's amazing. Uh, you know, you, uh, uh, sign and and make a few comments to them and they you know they seem to be very it's a good way of breaking down barriers you know and making connections with people hey listen there's a lot of information online but there aren't a lot of people who have actually done something in my case i've actually built a successful business has accrued over five billion dollars in assets under management and has done well even during trying times now, if you want to know exactly how I've done this, go to whiteellenwinning.com forward slash webinar now. I've compressed a decade of learning into five short weeks just for those of you who want to give yourself an incredible advantage and are tired of waiting and watching others move up. It also solidifies you as a thought leader. Um, people are very impressed when, when you write a book. And so... The other thing about writing a book is if you're not a great writer yourself, do you need to get a ghostwriter? If you write it yourself, do you need an editor? So again, Larry, my theme over and over again is have a team, build a team, work right. with other people. Same thing with writing a book. You don't have to sit in a room all by yourself and write a book. You know, get out there, interview people, do your research uh, for the material that's going into the book, and then build a team to help you produce the best book possible. Right. And uh, as you've gone, let's, well, let's go on over to your videos. This is an extension of that. And so as an extension of reaching out to people, uh, what would people get on your, a lot of the questions I could ask you right now, they could go to the, and get it off your YouTube and, and hopefully they will. And so what, uh, uh, how long have you been doing the YouTube uh, videos? I started, um, I, I think it was March or April, door, you know, when I became isolated and um, yeah, because of COVID, right. when everybody was so frightened and we really were, were not meeting with other people. So uh, my associate, Sarah, who I mentioned earlier, right. uh, who actually handles a social media for all of our clients, she was saying, Jane, we need some videos. Let's make some videos. I love, I love talking to you, Jane. You've got great advice. Let's make some videos. So we started making videos. And you know, I would I would say five or six thousand people have been looking at each video, which is a pretty good audience. It's uh, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, by the way, by the way uh, is regarding you talking on, I love those glasses. Great glass. I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of, of glasses, and those are first class. Thank you. Well, I'm wearing them so I can see you. <laughs> Otherwise, 
uh, <laughs> I, often, I make my videos uh, off mostly without the glasses. Oh, do you? Uh, <laughs> okay, but here's what where I'm heading, Larry. I think I'm going to get you to start making video um, interviews and not just podcasts because Probably. you're really great. Look at how much fun we're having we're seeing having each other. I think I think you're going to win that argument. I think you're right. <laughs> Now talk about uh, uh, you have uh, you know I list uh, there's a bunch of questions I can ask you but uh, why is uh, uh, it what advice let's just say what advice do you have for let's just say key strategies key strategies you would just say generic key strategies for building a uh, uh, successful business and to give you that focus so you can overcome the obstacles always come up but if you have that focus and that energy going towards a target it's like a speed bump you know if you've got energy uh you can just go right through it you know but if you're you're not focused and you don't have that obstacles are going to stop you so what would you say that uh strategies people could use that uh for uh, moving forward. One of them you already talked about, have a team, have, don't try and do things by yourself, you know, find what you're uh, uh, passionate about, uh, get good at it. Because, you know, you tend to enjoy uh, things you're good at. And when you're good at something, uh, you have success. And then of course, you're going to love it, you know, because I'm good at it, and I win and people give me compliments, you know, so uh, uh, those are things we've already covered before, but what kind of strategies that have you used? Uh, uh, because I feel like you think with systems, you have to have a strategies involved. You know, you have, you have a system serve strategies is uh, a way of looking at it. So what, how do you, when I say that type uh, of thing, what jumps into your mind, let's say? Yeah, um, having a written business plan. And I'm not talking about one of those really complicated plans right. that you would put together because you're going to go out and try to raise, you know, venture capital uh, or, even, or even for a bank. I'm talking about a very simple plan that's a, probably a couple pages long in which you write out what your business is all about, how you're going to finance it, where are you going to get the money? You know, who, who are the customers? How are you going to reach those customers? And, wow, this is great stuff. And what are you going to do to um, launch, uh, launch the business or market the business or do sales? And where do you need help? Yeah. So that way, by writing out all the different parts of what this business is all about, um, how are you going to market it? How are you going to get capital? Are, are you are you going to use, you know, mortgage your house? Are you going to take a bank loan? What, you know, how are you going to get that money? Which parts of this business are you going to run? Who do you need to bring in to help you? I also think you need to get some basic business advice from an accountant, possibly a lawyer. Uh, you need to decide if you're going to work from home, if you're going to work in a shared workspace, if you're if you're going to rent an office. So I would say get this all written out in, in several pages, and it makes it very concrete. Um, and then the other thing is to develop what I call an informal board of directors, where you reach out to other people who you know in business and you ask them if, if you can meet with them to review this plan. Yeah. Jane, I, I'm flabbergasted. You just knocked it out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the most concise, powerful, every word valuable answer I think I've ever gotten uh, on the most uh, critical uh, uh, thing for people to get started, you know, and you just covered the whole battlefield there. Thank you so much. I mean, you, you have ended our game with a grand slam home run. I'll promise you that. <laughs> I've uh, fired up and uh, uh, looking forward to uh, hopefully uh, doing this again in the future, because I know you're 
world is going to evolve and complete and multiply, but also uh, after we go play golf in. Uh, a, a <laughs> okay. Club. Yeah. And so uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. If you enjoyed what you've heard and are dead serious about finding out for yourself exactly how this works in the real world, I've taken the most valuable business lessons I've learned over 40 years and put them into something for you to watch. Go to whiteellowinnie.com forward slash webinar now in order to move up as fast as possible. I'm Larry Whitell, and I run the Million Dollar Mastermind. Go, go, go.